So I'm pretty sure every good redneck story starts off in one of two ways. It's either, hey, watch this, or hold my beer. Well, here goes nothing. Hey, watch this, guys. Ooh Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and today is a beautiful day. It's actually fixing to rain just a little bit I think and uh, you know one of the things when you live out here in the country like this and you live in amongst all these trees where we live is uh, you get a lot of leaf build up, you get a lot of old dead plant matter build up and you got to maintain that or else you run the risk of having a wildfire. So one huge thing that we do to help prevent wildfire is uh we let Bella attack us when she's all wet. Huh Houston? Uh -huh. No that's not it. So one thing that we always do every year is a lot of controlled burns. We do a lot of burning on our own on purpose. You know your mom always told you not to play with fire right? Well when mama's not around boys play with fire. <laughs> so yeah we're right behind our house as you can see the house is right here. I've got all the leaves. I do a, a lot of work to keep all leaves away from the house as best I can with a lawnmower and a leaf blower. And uh, come out here when the weather's just right, the wind's out of the right direction, light these leaves on fire and let it push it away from the house. Now I also burn like the backside of my pond dam. Hopefully we'll get to that one today. I don't know if we will be able to. And a couple hay fields, burn all the dead grass off of it. Does a lot of good. It's spring, everything will be greening up in here in no time at all. We get a lot of limbs falling off these trees obviously. As you can see, like this tree right here, this dead oak tree, drops a lot of limbs. So we've got stick piles everywhere so it's nice to burn those out. And uh, just like to get rid of all this leaf matter that piles up on the ground. And I know I'm gonna have a ton of comments. Everybody's gonna say, you should pile those up and compost them. Well, when you live on 100 acres of trees, there's only so many leaves you can compost. So I burn them. And it will green up out here like you wouldn't believe the first time it gets a good rain on it. That fire feels warm, doesn't it, buddy? <laughs> you, what are you being bashful about? Bella's not bashful, are you? So Weston's out here kind of helping me burn. I don't know if you can see him through the smoke. Whoopsie! <laughs> oh yeah, lots of fire. Weston is 15 years old. He'll be 16 in like two months. Well, we've been car shopping for Weston a lot lately. Trying to decide what to buy, what to buy. Well, we stumbled on a really good deal the other day. What Weston doesn't know, we already bought him a truck. And it's on its way here right now. So hopefully we'll catch that on video for you guys. Because I'm pretty excited about it. I know every kid is like dreams of that day they get their first vehicle. And I don't know where he's at right now. So I can't talk very loud. You guys were getting a little warm there. <laughs> Might have strayed away from the camera just a little too far. What's up, man? You look hot. What's the matter? Your eyes. Your eyes? The smoke getting your eyes? Yeah. Woo, you about fell down. And I got that on camera. Why? Because I was recording when you almost fell. Who's your buddy? Kobe. Jacoby. Are y'all best friends? Put it right there. Put it right there? Yeah. Well, I can't do it on the dirt. We gotta do it on the leaves. I'm glad you got your safety gear on there, son. I don't need no safety gear. Hey, do me a favor and go get the four-wheeler. I want to show everybody our fire truck. Huh? 
go get our fire truck down there and bring it up here. So once upon a time when I was in college, I actually was a wildland firefighter. I worked for the National Park Service and was certified to do wildland fire stuff on a much larger scale than this, but I've been doing this on our property most of my life. It's really actually a pretty safe operation when you have your fire lines cut in and you kind of watch the weather in advance, you know which way the wind's coming from. But the biggest key thing that for me is this piece of equipment right here, my four-wheeler. I take my four-wheeler and I've got a 40-gallon sprayer if my son will shut the motor off. I'm working on it. Just kill it, son. Thank you. Now set the emergency brake on the left-hand side over there. You know how to set the brake. Sometimes teenagers lose their mind. Anyways, so I use my four-wheeler as my little fire truck with a 40-gallon sprayer on the back of it. Um, I'll demonstrate. Don't spray We'll me. demonstrate right here. Ready? Oh, oh, yeah, it works great. So I just drive around with the sprayer. You'd be amazed at how much fire you can put out with just a little sprayer like this. It, should I trust him? Almost ready. I really don't trust him to hand this thing to him. Almost ready. Ugh. I just want to spray the thing. So, I've got a camera in my hand. Maybe he won't spray me. But anyways, we use this uh, 40 gallon sprayer on the back of my four wheeler. Yeah, watch out. And uh, fight a lot of fire with it, especially in the leaves. If you get in a tall grass, obviously this thing probably wouldn't be the greatest thing in the world. But for just in this underbrush, and leaves and grass, short grass that's mowed. My little sprayer on the back of my four-wheeler works amazing. Daddy. What is it, son? Can I do the spraying? No, you're not doing it. <laughs> hey, 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 go quick, go quick. Good job, teenager. Thank you. You do excellent work. Thank you. So you can see, flip this around so I can see what I'm doing. As you can see, I kind of trust my teenager. But anyways, you can fight a lot of fire with just a four-wheeler and a little sprayer that goes on the back of it. Works amazing in these leaves. Right when I get a good little fire going, it's starting to rain just a little bit. I knew we had a good chance of rain this evening, so I wanted to get out here and get some burning done so the rain could just put it out. I was hoping to get the burning done before the rain put it out. But uh, we got a pretty good cloud of smoke going. We got a lot of fire. And uh, I want to tell you a little bit more about this situation with Weston's vehicle. So we kind of stumbled on this truck the other day. We were just kind of driving around, killing some time, and found a 2007 Chevrolet extended cab pickup with only 89,000 miles and uh, we just looked at it and Weston got all excited and we left. Well what he doesn't know is mom and I went back the next day and made a deal. We bought this truck for $8,500. 89,000 miles on an 07 model. I think we got a great deal. I could be wrong. It could fall apart but uh, he doesn't know it's coming. We parked it at my in-laws and they're driving down the driveway in it right now. Weston's in the house helping mom cook. Yeah, she had to go distract him and bring him in the house. So they're on their way with it. We're going to try to surprise him with this thing. Now I'm getting wet. It's uh, raining on me. This right here is a perfect example of what I want to get rid of. These old dead trees just laying out here. It's awesome to be able to get out here, use a little bit of fire to control all that, burn them out of here, and uh, make our property look a lot better. Here it comes. Through the cloud of smoke. Oh yeah. Really? Yep. I don't know about you, but I would be one pump 16 year old if that was my first vehicle. I mean, I think we did pretty good. I gotta hurry up and get back to the house and beat Weston to the surprise. Where's the teenager when you need him? Got water all over my lens. 
Don't be bashful. Not, oh, don't, don't be you. bashful. Oh. Get the memo, I'm them. Can you get a cut, <laughs> Look. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay. so check this out. Katie comes blaring in, blasting the horn like a crazy person. And uh, it's starting to rain just a little bit. Oh, look. She scared the goats back to the house. <laughs> How to drive? Pretty good. I just jammed the whole time. Huh. You got to drive it before he did. There's not much to jam. The radio. There's only one speaker. Why don't you look excited? I am. I like it. You could ask Katie to get out so you can at least see. <laughs> yeah, it. can I see my truck, please? Where's Kevin? I forget. I asked this. Oh, I asked Mom about it earlier. She said that someone else already sold it. No, no, no. No, no, that's not what she said. You asked mom about it and she said, it's already sold. Yeah. She said, I got some bad news, it already sold, right? She didn't yeah. say someone else bought it. Oh, I just take my time. I like that. Katie said it would look dope on the front. Pretty nice little wagon. Oh yeah. The door about slammed on you. In here? A tarantula. Yeah. Where? Under your seat. Uh uh. <sighs> what? You big Where? chicken. Where? Under the seat. Under the seat? Yeah. Uh uh. <laughs> you freaked your nana out. <laughs> There's no tarantula in there. Bear, what do you think about that wagon? It's pretty slick, isn't it, Bear? Are you uh, proud of yourself? I am. I did good work on that. I guess he's going to go for a victory lap around our circle driveway. I can see it now. It only missing. It's only missing an Arms Family Homestead sticker on the back. <laughs> He's just driving around the Circle Drive. So I'm pretty excited about it. You know, I'm always. I was always torn forever, being in law enforcement and on everything. It's really hard for me to let go of and actually consider that our son's going to be 16 in a few months and be able to drive on his own and drive our other kids around but we bought a 2007 v6 chevy silverado with 89,000 miles for 8500 dollars i think i would be pretty happy for that with that as a first vehicle all right weston so since you got your first vehicle here Mm -hmm. You gotta give me a big old kiss on the cheek. No, oh, come I on! Don't. Just a big old kiss. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. For daddy. Come on, uh -uh. please. I'm not giving you a kiss. One big old kiss. Mm -mm. We love you. I love you too. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You just gotta act cool. He's trying to act cool. Guys. I just don't want to I, kiss I, I, Bro, bro, we're trying to act cool. Bro. <laughs> All right, bro. It's this new truck. What do you think? For real? I like it. Is it somewhere in the neighborhood of what you were hoping to get? Yeah. Okay. All right, then, bye. See you. <laughs> well, back to what I was doing before. Can't forget about the fire. We got just enough rain to kind of slow my fire down, but I think I can get it back up and going again because it didn't even get the ground wet. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. It's a day that, that our family's been pretty excited about for a long time. I know my wife's been super nervous about this. I'm kind of nervous about it. Uh, how do you come to terms with your oldest getting a driver's license. Scary, but exciting. I remember when I got my driver's license, it was just like that most awesome feeling of freedom of being able to get out and do things on your own. Comes a lot of risk, 
and a lot of responsibility but uh, I guess as parents that's just a step we've got to take to to move towards that freedom for our kids so anyways guys I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up button be sure to uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed to our channel um, let me know if you want to see more control burn action maybe we can get some more of that in the next few days before it greens up and everything too much anyways guys thanks for watching I hope you all enjoyed it and as always we'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.